your Windows 10 experiences survey results. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Earlier this week in my Ask Leo newsletter, I asked readers to fill out a survey which asked them about how the Windows 10 upgrade and use experience was for them. Did they upgrade? How did it go? And did they like what they ended up with? I got 2,786 responses for which I am incredibly grateful. Thank you for participating in that. Thank you for letting me know how Windows 10 has been working for you. As you'll see in a minute, I think we got some really valuable, really important and somewhat surprising results out of the experiment, out of the survey. Now, of course, I have to throw out the caveat that this isn't some kind of a scientific survey. This is more of an opinion poll. But I think you'll find that the results are so dramatic that it's very, very interesting. And I think we have some really, really strong takeaways from what people are experiencing. So the first question I asked was basically, did you do the upgrade or did you do a full reinstall? In other words, did you do an install from scratch of Windows 10? Not surprisingly, about 90% of the folks that responded are doing the upgrades. Makes total sense because it's the upgrade path that Microsoft is offering for free. If you've got Windows 7 with SP1, or if you're running Windows 8.1, the upgrade to Windows 10 is completely free, but it is an upgrade. To do a clean install of Windows 10 implies either that you've purchased a copy or that you've actually jumped through a couple of not obvious hoops to make that, up, or make that clean install happen. But like I said, not surprisingly, 90% of the folks who've responded we're doing the upgrade path. The second question, very simple. Did it work or were there technical problems that prevented the upgrade or the install from working for you? This is our first surprise. 87% of the people that responded, Windows 10's install or upgrade just worked. That's a higher number than I was expecting to be honest but it's very promising and it's very good. 87% success rate. Now, for the 13% of the folks for which it did not fail, again, for some technical reason, this isn't a matter of taste or opinion here yet, this is actually the thing did or did not work because something literally did not work. Of the 13% for whom it failed, one in five actually had to recover by reinstalling their system from scratch to the earlier version of Windows. That's unfortunate. The fact that it's four and five, four out of five people were able to revert to their previous install, wonderful. But one in five is still too many. And I say that because that implies to me that the one in fives did not prepare with a full image backup prior to doing the Windows 10 install. Had they had a full image backup to restore to, I believe that more of them would have been able to simply go back to the version of Windows that they had prior to the Windows 10 install failure that they experienced. But like I said, that 13% of the folks who responded, they were unable to install Windows 10 for some technical reason. Now, of those people for whom it worked, in other words, they're left with a machine running Windows 10 successfully, did they like it? 84% said yes, they did in fact like Windows 10 once it was running and installed successfully on their machine. 9%, round 9%, decided to go back. They didn't like what they had. They ended up reverting back to whatever version of Windows they had prior to the Windows 10 upgrade. The difference, you'll notice that doesn't add up to 100%. The folks that remain, those are the folks who upgraded to Windows 10 successfully, played with it, decided they didn't like Windows 10, but don't feel that they have an option or an opportunity to roll back to what they had before. Now, there are many possible reasons for that happening, but I have to once again believe that one of the reasons is that they did not prepare 
for the possibility of needing to roll back by taking an image back up before they started. So 84% of the people who install Windows 10 like Windows 10. They're happy with it and they're moving forward. One of the assumptions or, or inferences that I made a couple of weeks ago in one of my videos was that I thought that there was a correlation between machine age and your success rate at installing or upgrading to Windows 10. So one of the questions I included on my survey was simply this, how old is your machine? With a couple of options. For the people for whom the install worked, 70% of the machines were between one and four years old. And in fact, 18% of the machines were five years old or older. That kind of surprised me too, and in a good way. I was thinking that perhaps that there was a stronger correlation with machine age and the failure rate. And apparently that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case. So my big takeaways from this survey, one, Windows 10 upgrade and install works for the vast majority of people. That's great. I, in fact, it works for more people than I would have expected. As I think I've said before, people come to ask Leo with problems, so I hear about problems with Windows 10. If, they have, if things are just working, I don't hear about it unless I ask in a survey. So this is really, really good news to me. The fact that it's way more of a success rate than I would have guessed. Second takeaway is that there's still a 13% technical failure rate. So another way to say that is that there's a slightly greater than one in 10 chance that a Windows 10 upgrade or a Windows 10 install won't work. Again, it's a smaller amount than I was expecting, but it is still a larger amount, a higher number than I think is really acceptable. My third big takeaway, the majority of people who successfully install Windows 10 like it. They're happy with it and they're ready to move on. Ultimately, I see that as being really, really good news since Microsoft has banked their future on Windows 10. And in a way, that means our future is sort of in that as well. So Windows 10 is being accepted and installed successfully by many more people than I think we've been led to believe, I think that we've been hearing from. And again, I really think that that's good, good news. The bottom line for me really hasn't changed. My advice hasn't really yet changed. I suggest, I recommend being cautious. There still is no urgency to upgrade to Windows 10. When the free offer expires, we'll talk again. But for now, there's no rush. That being said, I honestly believe that your chances for success are higher than I would have told you a week or so ago. I still can't stress enough the importance of taking an image backup of the machine you're about to upgrade before you upgrade. It's your safety net. It'll protect you from just about anything that could possibly go wrong. So if you're going to go down the Windows 10 path, fine, just please take an image backup first before you even make the attempt. Chances are it'll work. In fact, if it's anything like what we've just heard from my survey responses, you've got a 90% chance that the Windows 10 installation or upgrade process you might go through will in fact work. But there's a one in 10 chance that it won't and that's why you want the image backup. That's why you want to protect yourself before you even make the attempt. So as always, here's a link to this article out on askleo.com. Visit me there, leave your comments, let me know what you think. I would really love to hear your thoughts on what this survey seems to have uncovered and where you think things are going to be going. Until next week, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com. As always, be safe, have fun, and don't forget to back up. Take care.